Let's take a look at the home screen of the Illustrator. This is how it will appear like. I am using the current version that is Illustrator 2022 CC. Here I have an option of creating a new document. Here I have option to open any previously created document. And these are some presets that I can use to create a new document. Uh, if I want to go particularly defined dimensions like an iPhone X, I want to design something uh, like an iPhone theme, then I can go for this. If I want something on the TV, this is the HDV, HDTV, 1080 pixels. This is common web design, this is simple postcard, letter, and there are more presets if you want to explore. Okay, so now I'm going to simply go on create new, and this will give me this dialog box. These are some recently used pixels, documents. Next, in case if I have saved any presets, I'll find them here. I want to create something for the mobile. I can go for this tab and here I can have different mo mobile models, including iPhone, iPad, Google Pixel, and so on. If I want to create anything related to web, web page or web design, I can go to this tab and here I have options of different sizes of monitor screens. That include MacBook, Web Large, MacBook Pro 15 Retina, and other thing, I have other models of Mac as well. When I go to print, I have few random st uh, printing documents that are commonly used that are A4, Bladder, Print Large, Legal, and so on. Next, I have Film and Video. This will go for particularly on a screen or a TV. A 2K video, if I'm creating something for 4K film, I can create a high definition document on this. Next is our art and illustration. When we have a postcard, poster, and some predefined presets, dimensions as per the document. And notice if I change this, then uh, the color more also changes. When we go particularly for print, this this chooses to be a CMYK color because if you go for printing, you have to choose a CMYK mode. We can change this later on, but still uh, it's uh, very necessary to keep that in mind that we need to use a CMYK color when we go for printing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose this common uh, or maybe this one. Yeah. Okay. Here I can name the document like uh, my doc. I'm going to name it my doc. Here I can even edit uh, the width of the document or the height of the document with respect to pixels when it comes to measurement. I, I can even change the unit. I can change it to inches, feet, feet, inches, yards, millimeters, centimeters, and meters. I can choose the orientation to be portrait or landscape. Uh, notice if I click on this, the units will be interchanged because this will be the orientation I will come. If I click on this, you see these have been exchanged again. It will come in this particular orientation that is landscape. I can even increase or decrease the number of pages. Currently, I don't need. I can do increase it later on. So I will just keep it one for now. I can just click and give one, two, up to what is my requirement. Here I have a bleed option. I can uh, increase or decrease the bleed option depending on the printer that I am using. So depending on the printer, I'll just increase or decrease the bleed option. Uh, this is particularly used only for printing purposes. Uh, if you're not using anything for print, then you can just leave it at it. RGB color mode or CMYK color mode. If I want to create something on the screen that is going to be digital and not going to be printed later, then I'll choose the RGB color. And if I am creating something that is going to be printed later, then I'm going to choose the CMYK color. These are some raster effects. Uh, in case we use some images, then how will they be rendered? I can decide from here. Although I can change this later after creating the document as well. So in case I want high definition images, then I can choose this as a high 300 PPI. I can go even further 
but that would uh, overload the computer or PC or system. Uh, so I'll just keep it at 72 for now. Uh, as I'm not using uh, any high definition images, it still can be um, changed later in case if I need any. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. Here I have my document. Now, as you can see, these are the menus that we have. And this is my toolbox. You can see me toggling the view of the toolbox. And these are the panels that I'll be regularly using like layers, libraries, properties of the tools that I'll be using here. Currently, I'm not connected to docu uh, Creative Cloud, so it won't show up in the libraries. I can click here and change the type of workspace I am using. If I go Essentials Classic, it will go back to the original old classic Illustrator workspace that used to have a little control bar here rather than here. But in the latest one, Essentials, that tool bar has shifted over here and I'll, I'll be able to control everything from here. I won't have to work from above. This is my artboard, this white area. You can use Alt and scroll to zoom in or zoom out. Or you can use uh, Control plus or Control minus to zoom in or zoom out. Here is the name of my document. My document at the rate 33.33%. This is showing me the zoom amount. Uh, this is currently at 33.33% and it is RGB document and it is on preview mode right now. So if I zoom in, as you can see, this increases the percentage here. It is now on 50%. I'll press Control-0 and it will fit to screen. 